Bill's relationship with her late mother, Terry, was complicated would be an understatement. Huge understatement. Yeah, Brooke's mom was her manager, she was her constant companion, and she was also a chronic alcoholic. Yeah, it's all in a new book. There was a little girl, and our Nichelle Turner got a chance to sit down with Brooke in New York. How did you deal with your mother's alcoholism? You know, it's like a, a s s puppy that, you know, that wants to protect their food source, you know? I had to keep my mom alive. And I just learned at a very early age to be the adult. Brooke's late mother, Terry, took her to bars as a baby and later in life would be drunk by the time her daughter got home from school. By 13, Brooke was staging interventions for her notorious stage mom, who was often criticized for pushing the rising star into provocative roles at a young age. If I could, I'd like to take you back to the Entertainment Tonight vault. I think this is uh -huh. back in 1981. I think you're about 15 or 16 uh, yeah. years old. And in this clip, you are talking about your mother in this interview. I feel I'm lucky because she's my manager too. I like that's that's sort of extra little attention. You're sort of just like roommates or sisters. So we're lucky. When you see that, what can you say to this teenage girl here? You know, that's complete and utter devotion right there. I wonder, were you putting on a little bit of a front in this interview? Do you think you were covering? Because in the book you say by the third grade, you knew there was something going on with her drinking. I was so afraid that people were gonna not understand how she struggled with drinking. And I was so afraid that she would look like a liar, or that I would. And I was so afraid she wouldn't be okay. So that person is desperately trying to keep her mother alive. Are you at peace now? I'm not angry with her for being weak. I was much more interested in taking the stuff that I thought was cool from her. You know, her humor, her sort of brashness, her sort of willingness to be, yeah, that's it. What do you got, what do you have to say to me? Go ahead, say it. You did talk about your relationship um, with men throughout the book and the complications there as well. Only so where they had to do with her. I will say a name and you just tell me the first thing that comes to your mind, okay? <laughs> All right, Liam Neeson. Fun. <laughs> That was a look, lot, lot, lot of fun. <laughs> John Travolta. Oh. oh, we learned French for me. John Travolta did. Yeah, he took French classes because he knew I liked French. I like that. Andre Agassi. The perfect first husband. <laughs> Chris Henchy. Oh, he's my man. He's my, he's my guy. He's the guy I should be married to and should have children with and should spend the rest of my life with.